<laughs> What's this dog's name? Kira. Kira. And? Eva. Eva. <laughs> Eva. Oh, thanks. You can do it. She's good at ducks and things, but not sheep. Come on. That's it. Come here. Avoidance technique. Mm -hmm. Here. <laughs> here. Come on. Come on. Here. Come on. Here. Here. <laughs> here. Thank you. She's just showing us a nice gentle start. Is it because she's focused on the other dog? It's a bit That's of her. a team thing. Yep. Two dogs live in a house. Every time this dog does something, the other dog's involved. Yep. That's all right. Right? So when you go out to work them, they want to be involved with the other dog, not with you. Uh, you, you don't do enough one-on-one -on -one time with them. I need a bit of one on one. Split, split them up. I'll tie one up, work one. Tie the other one up, work the other one. Good girl, here. So we got energy when we put that rake in there to get it a coat. Good time we're, we're getting her to turn left and right and she doesn't even know it yet. Get her to come away, put us in the picture and go back to a stop. That's just happened. It's pretty simple, doesn't it? Mm. So, so she's more focused now. Yeah. 
suppose she'll start to cope with it better now. See how we actually pushed her out then. Good girl. See, a little bit of an argument. She thought she knew best. in the picture. See, she wants to come in for the approval, but she doesn't need to at the moment. See, a dog like her, you'll have her outside reasonably quickly. See how she was, didn't even want to be involved with us to start with. But she was sensitive to taking a rake. She, she accepted that and she just off she went. That's good. 